back. Hi guys, I'm Belle. And I'm still not tired. I've been putting filming this bit of my... I've said it a million times. I think that I was going to film about anxiety. I'm going to make a video about anxiety. But really, I couldn't start doing a video about something that I am currently going through and I'm currently living with and I kind of can explain I kind of I kind of don't know how to use words to explain it notice how my shoulders aren't straight it's because my bed is is going down bed is broken and it's and it has a you know when you sit on a couch and it has a crease of your butt on it because you sat on it for a long time? That's what hap that is what happened to my bed and I think I have to I had this bed for ten years. Yeah, like that, so I kinda I kinda need I kinda need to get that fixed or something. So my shoulders are not straight. I couldn't really film it because I was having episodes with it. Like I was so like the start of the year I wa I, I wasn't myself like from December 31st to the first week of January I wasn't me. Like I shut down completely. I wasn't going out. I wasn't leaving my room. I wasn't studying. Yeah, so everything went haywire and I was really, really down for a while and towards my 22nd birthday, it went up. So, so about anxiety, I'm just really stalling for time because I don't know what to say and how to handle things in the perspective of someone who had it. And if I'm giving advice to someone or if somebody is, really, is watching this and stuff like that so I'm not going to go on things explaining the st statistics the numbers of anxiety here in the Philippines because I think that in that department where I live it's not that labeled as important like in the states where there's a whole bunch of organizations who are handling mental illnesses and depression and anxiety and self harm and suicide and stuff like that and I know that but I know that it's been the cases of people being bullied being and uh, being bullied 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 that results to depression anxiety and other mental illnesses for young people people going in school, in college, in high school, and whatever, I think it's going up, and I think that the Philippines needs to, the Philippines needs to do something about it. Yeah, anyway. How do I tell you? My experience with it is kind of up and down, because in the past almost three years, I've been diagnosed, diagnosed with depression and anxiety. 2014, uh, 2013, and ever since I've been taking meds for it, I've gone so far over the edge that I tried to, I did self-harm for a bit, and it was, it was stopped before it even got worse, so that's a plus, but it was hard. Uh, every day it still gets harder to fight the urge to not get up in the morning to not to not to just resign myself to being in bed to not going down get breakfast shower and do the things I usually do like study like talk to my parents talk to my mom talk to my brothers so yeah, it's really really hard to do things that Sometimes you get scared of. 
I've, I haven't seen my friend. I don't know how do you. How do you say this? How do I give advice about anxiety that will help you? I think the only thing that helps me get through the day is having set my goals. Give yourself a deadline to do stuff. I don't know. I'm just really babbling about anxiety, right? This is actually making me nervous. I don't know. Dogs barking. Anxiety. I think for me, really, it's anxiety is not is not just about worrying about something. It's kind of living inside your head that you feel stuck like so many things is going through your mind racing through your mind and you're not sure what to focus on that it leaves you it you're left being stuck in that moment and that weird presence in your mind that you're not gonna be able to do anything that everything that you're going to do will kind of just not work out and I don't know but that's how I feel and I, uh, the most important thing that I have in my life right now as a support is my family that they haven't given up on me and they've pushed me and they've talked to me a lot about that I should grab I should graduate, I need to do stuff, but I need to do them for myself, for myself, not for anyone, anybody else, but me. I should do it, I should do it because I want to do it, not because they want me to do it. Like, I think I've lived all my life thinking that my parents are pressuring me to graduate because I'm the eldest of three and um, I'm the ate, so I have to be this type of person. By the time I'm 25, I have to be settled in life. I have to have a job. I must have a car or a place or, or something or whatever, but that is not happening that might not happen because I took another, I took a turn and I'm studying AP English now, not tourism, so that plan is going to waste. And, but I still want to travel and I still want to get my own place, I still want to travel the world and stuff working towards getting a degree in English with the motivation that my parents are giving me even though every day they shout at me and even though I sometimes, I sometimes scold myself for be, for work not working that hard enough for being slow because my first deadline was May 2016. I should be graduating, but that that but that won't happen because I. I have been procrastinating, so yeah. Mm. So now I have a new deadline, and I have I want to stick with it. 
And I think with anxiety, you cannot, you cannot use the words must and should because it feels like pressuring me to do something that I'm not sure I can do. Even though there are so many things in life that I'm not sure that I can do but I'm willing to try. Honestly, I've tried to film so many times about anxiety, about my life. Like, I've vlogged so many times. I have, I have clips of my vlogs, but I haven't been uploading it to YouTube because I'm just... But this time, I'm doing it for myself. I'm not doing it for the views. I'm not doing it for, for fame. I'm not doing it to be recognized. I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm doing it because it's an outlet. It's kind of like my diary. Only someone else can know, no world can see it. So, this is not really an informative thing about anxiety. This is not an informative video about anxiety or mental illness. It's just me blabbing out stuff about anxiety in my life with it. So, I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.